everyone my name is Adnan Chaudhary from one shoot production today we will learn about how we can blend an image or shape with the background so let's get started go to Photoshop go to file new for simply press ctrl and from your keyboard the size of the document is and the width is 1280 height is 724 the resolution is 72 pixels per inch and the background contents are transparent and uh, let's name this uh, PST file to Dragon. Nice. Hit OK. Now press Ctrl 0 to size it up. For the background texture, I am using this. Nice. Now we will drag it in our Photoshop. Let's drag it uh, directly. Click and drag it down and size it a little bit up so it could be much reliable for background nice now we will press ctrl j to make a copy of this now press ctrl t to transform this press ctrl right click and uh, click on flip vertical click and drag it right on the top like this little bit down adjust this with your arrow keys like i think it's pretty much nice here so press ctrl j or we can size it up press ctrl t and size it a little bit up so it could be more blendable with background nice delete the previous one so cool look like same thing now press shift and select all of these layers press ctrl e to merge them in a single layer let's name this as bg nice now we will uh, uh, drag our main shape which we will use click and drag this into photoshop i am using this shape it looks uh, dragon it's it is really a dragon so let's unlock this layer and click to erase the tool by pressing e from your keyboard to call up your erasing tool which will this but you will select a magic eraser tool and click on this white area only one time to delete all the white color uh, let's click and drag it in our main project now press ctrl a to center this click on the second one and from the last to second last press ctrl d little bit more uh, right side by pressing shift and right arrow on your keyboard nice now we will press ctrl and click on this shape it will select this shape click on background or select your background layer and press ctrl j to copy this now we'll close it up and name this as may dragon so cool so we will go to effects and blending options for the blending options we will apply bevel and emboss the depth is 100 percent and the size is uh, three pixels let's increase the angle to about 135 great and the 100% and the shadow opacity to about 100% let's make them normal both of them nice now we'll select our contour but we will not touch these settings now we'll select satin we'll decrease decrease it to about 35 and change its blend mode to overlay and we will increase the distance to about 15 and the size to about 10 nice okay so hit ok now let's apply 
a color overlay on both of these layers before we apply a color overlay we will increase the detail of this uh, our main dragon for this I will use filter and camera raw filter well this filter is only given in the Photoshop CC 2014 so you can use only this feature but uh, if you will not use this the background reads or the wallpaper is uh, really perfect now but I am using some extra things so make it more interesting so we will increase the clarity to about 25 and hit ok nice nothing happened but uh, it's happening it will increase its detail okay so now we will apply our color overlay on this main dragon select your color overlay and change its color to about darker uh, like this hit ok well its code is 2f1505 hit ok and ok again now we will apply on our background go to fx and apply color overlay ok so the color overlay color should be like darker as we use for our main dragon and let's see what color is looks much matching for this looks awesome this one hit ok very nice and impressive but this time uh, I will add another thing we will increase a shadow a little bit more longer for this we will turn off its color overlay for this time and we will turn on this black and name this as shadow and click and drag it under the main dragon for the long shadows we will use our actions well we will use sh action shadows uh, the tutorial is already given in our channel uh, the tutorial is this one in this tutorial we have completely teach that how we can create a long shadow with the uh, actions so the link is given in the description bar also so you can check it out and learn after that you can do this step easily okay so we will hit on play button one time and two time we will create a two cop three copies of uh, these layers. basically we have created two copies but the layers are three i don't know why but i think it's original layer and these two are copy layers now we will select shift and select all of these copy layers and press ctrl e to merge them so we will go to filter uh, blur and gaussian blur for the gaussian blur we will use 2.0 radius and hit ok now we will go to filter again and give it blur a motion blur for the motion blur the angle is 90 degree or I think it should be about 135 increase the size a little bit more uh, 15 no nope, it's uh, 13 okay so the distance is uh, 13 pixels and the angle is 135 because we have used the light angle or the shadow angle for on 135 so hit ok now what we have to do is we'll just click or uh, sorry press a down arrow from your keyboard to downside one time two time three time and same thing on the uh, right side arrow one time two time and three time a little bit more just play with this where it looks perfect uh, you're done okay so i think it's pretty much nice here great so uh it's look uh, very nice so we will turn on our color overlay and the second one also 
so it's all depend on you if you want to use color overlay uh, it's really cool but if you don't want to use color overlay it's also cool so uh, we have finished our tutorial Thank you for watching this tutorial. Feel free to ask questions and please suggest what tutorial should we have to create in future and we will meet in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this and thank you for the huge support. Take care.